Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will talk about primitive polynomials. Primitive polynomials are subsets of irreducible polynomials, which we have defined in the previous segment. The outer circle contains all irreducible polynomials, and the inner ones are primitive polynomials. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's say p of x to be x power 4, x power 3, x square plus x plus 1. This particular polynomial is actually an irreducible polynomial. You cannot factor this polynomial, okay, with the coefficients being 0 and 1 only. What about its generator? Let's say if you take x, x power 1 is obviously congruent to x mod p of x, x square is congruent to x square mod p of x, x cube is actually congruent to x cube as well. So what about x power 4? x power 4 is congruent to, you see here there is an also x power 4, that means we will only have to write the remaining parts, right? All of them are mod p of x. What about x power 5? x power 5 is x power 4 plus x cube plus x square plus x, which means x is actually not a generator. We are not able to generate all possible polynomials of degree t. For example, we didn't generate, say, x cubed plus x. We can't generate x cubed plus x using this p of x as a sort of a um, as a base polynomial, irreducible polynomial. It is not generating all possible uh, third degree polynomials. Okay, that's the reason why it is just irreducible. But now I'll show you a primitive polynomial, which is a member here, which will generate all possible uh, polynomials. Okay, let's take a primitive polynomial example now. P of x to be, say, x power 3, x power 2 plus 1. If you take this polynomial, right, this is also irreducible in a gf of 2. Okay, now let's consider x power 1 is obviously congruent to x in mod p of x. x square is x square and uh, x cube is actually just x squared plus one. And we can continue with x power five to be, let me write it here. X power five is, you'll have x squared, x squared will go away and we'll have one plus x, okay? So you have one plus x for x power five. X power seven is nothing but x squared plus x cubed, which is nothing but one, okay? X squared plus x cubed. X cubed is nothing but x squared plus one. So x squared, x squared will cancel out. We just get one. Okay. so. How many polynomials did I generate? I generated from power one to power seven, seven polynomials, okay? Which means that I'm able to cover all the non-zero polynomials of degree two, okay? If you, if you have polynomials of degree two, you would need three bits. With three bits, you can generate eight entries. You have to exclude the zeroth entry. Therefore, we generated all the uh, seven non-zero polynomials. And this particular polynomial, is called a uh, primitive polynomial. So it's a member here. Okay, this is irreducible. Okay, this is irreducible. Irreducible means you can't factor. This means primitive, which means you can generate all the members of a polynomial by the powers of x. Okay, that is the difference between a primitive polynomial and irreducible polynomial. On your left, you see an irreducible polynomial but X is not generating all the members of the polynomial. All, you cannot generate all third degree polynomials using this particular P of X. So it's just irreducible. Here, with this P of X, you can generate all the members of the polynomial of degree two. Okay, so all primitive polynomials are irreducible, but not all irreducible polynomials are primitive. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much for your attention.